the rent is paid amid this pandemic is something easier said than done for many people. So joining us this morning to discuss the options available to renters struggling to cover costs, we have Karen Chapkis with us, Director of Litigation for Legal Aid of Western Michigan. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, thank you for having me. Yeah, so first off, I guess, let's just start off with a lot of people may be wondering, are tenants still responsible mm -hmm. for their rent or is it being forgiven? The tenants are still responsible for their rent. There's nothing in either the state moratorium or the Federal CARES Act that forgives rent. Um, so tenants that are able, either because they're still working or they've gotten their unemployment figured out, really should make paying their rent a priority. So how exactly does the state eviction moratorium, you know, work? Kind of explain that for people. Yes, under the most recent executive order, um, the eviction moratorium has been extended until May 15th. Um, we do anticipate the governor will probably extend that until the end of the month to line up better with her most recent stay at home order extension. Um, the state eviction moratorium does put a stop to pretty much all evictions for whatever reason with just a very, very narrow exception when there's a health or safety risk um, that the tenant is posing. So pretty much all tenants um, should not be worried about eviction at this time. Um, instead, they will be able to shelter in place until the end of the state moratorium. Okay, good to know. And maybe let's just hit on the Federal CARES Act, maybe who it protects and uh, what does that cover? Yeah, the Federal CARES Act is a little more complicated. Um, it does not cover all the properties. It only covers properties um, that have some sort of subsidy where it's an income based for the tenant or if the landlord has a federally related mortgage. So those are mortgages like an FHA mortgage, a Fannie Mae, a Freddie Mac mortgage. Um, it may be a little difficult to figure out whether your landlord has one of those mortgages um, and that's something we're trying to work on. And then in those protected properties, um, the tenant is protected from being evicted for non-payment of rent. So if they're unable to pay their rent, they shouldn't be evicted if they're in a covered property. However, if there's other reasons to evict the tenant, such as they've breached their lease, um, you know, they've done something wrong other than, other than being unable to pay rent, then they still can be evicted once the state courts open up and the state courts allow evictions to move forward. You know, it's, it's confusing, right, for yeah. people who aren't used to hearing about all of this and, and breaking it all down. So wh what's the best place or the best way that people can go if they have questions um, or concerns? Yes, if you have questions about whether your property is covered, you might start with your landlord and talk to your landlord and see if they've figured out if their property is covered yet. Um, if you aren't getting answers from your landlord or if you're concerned whether or not um, they fully understand the law, please feel free to contact Legal Aid and we can talk to you and try to see if we can help you figure that out and help you better understand your rights both under the state moratorium and the Federal CARES Act Great. as well as the laws that are already in place. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much for your time.